Hey everyone, Nicola Russell here. Really pleased to be on talking to you today. Um, I had the most amazing deep sleep. It was a little bit broken up, but it was amazing. I actually really, really enjoyed it. I don't know why I started off with that with this video, but there you go. Just thought I'd announce that I got up really, really late. Um, so yeah, I hope you're all well. Um, it's interesting times, isn't it? Um, oh, by the way, yes, it is Remembrance Into the Light. And what that is all about is all of my stuff that I bring to you. So my head's all over the place. I'm, I'm quite sort of fractured in my thinking, actually, which is um, very, very interesting. And I had an awful lot of um, upgrading of human yesterday. So I was really pleased about that. Lots of um, understandings of the upgrading of Nicola. Now, I wanted to talk about that, actually. Um, and I spoke to um, some beautiful people last night on my event of um, Light Language Connection Group. And it was something that really sort of came through very strongly that I wanted to talk to you about today. Is that we've been reaching up higher, checking out our higher selves, getting connected with all of that on the ascension process, really starting to bring in those multidimensional aspects in. And yet when we do that, sometimes we forget about our human selves, our little ego that sort of sits there and sort of like, oh, that's all exciting. And then we place that um, understanding that the, the, the higher self is actually slightly out of reach or outside of ourselves. And what was coming through yesterday very, very clearly was the understanding that the human is the one that's on the ascension process because the human is in the physical reality. It's the embodiment of bringing down and meeting and blending with our higher selves and multidimensionality that brings in the human upgrade, okay? So um, where Nicola is all over the place wanting to create, 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 create at the moment, I've got to really anchor in my um, higher self to ground in what is it from a higher perspective of what I need to achieve. So um, so forgive me on the beginning of this video, I was all a bit over the place, but hey, I suppose if you're used to my videos, I'm a little bit like that anyway, sort of flitter, flitter. But I'm bringing now in with the intention of connection to my higher self. So hopefully you'll see the difference. And it's quite an energetic experience when you bring it in. It's like a, a feeling of a hand going into a glove. It's a sense of connection that creates a heightened intuitive state of mind and lets go of all of that preconceived ideas about, oh, what should I do, what should I do this? And Nicola's, if you look at Nicola in the past, would have been very much mind flittering from one place to another. <clears throat> it is like walking past a library with not accessing all the books, but you know the library's there. You go in to the library, you check in, you've got your little card, you want to go and buy a book, uh, download a book or get a book, <laughs> which is a physical book, and then you then take the book home. So you go in, you get some information and you come out. But a lot of the time we walk past a library and we don't even go into a library to actually get the information that's held within the library. When you've got that book from the library, you enable yourself to then actually go in and read and get the information that's needed. More guidance is there in front of you. But energetically what we do, and we're going into our library of our accessibility of information that's up there, we can go in, book in that bit of information and download it in energetically and bring it home with us, bring it home into the physicality, okay? It is a process that will become more and more um, available to us of a more and more normality concept. So 
every day we'll go into the library, we just pick up a book and we've got those books with us. We create our own library at home with a bookshelf with information that we have there available to us. Now, first of all, we go in and we just check in one and then bring it back, check in another, bring in it back. But then after a while, we think, oh, we're gonna go and buy a book, put it on our own bookshelf, it's accessible at home. You easily pick it up. And then what about next expansion from that idea? From all of the information that you connect to, whether it's from the library, whether it's from your bookshelf from at home, that you start creating your own books. You start writing from that information for other books to be put out there in a physical format for others to see. Courses, um, events, workshops, information, um, practices, um, artwork, written content, um, posters, you know, creativity. You start creating and expressing from those downloaded information levels of consciousness, bringing it down, embodying it in, and you express it out beautifully to the whole world. You express what you picked up and bring forward into your creativity to bring it to others to see in physicality. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Okay. Even this video, even this video, just getting that information from my bookshelf, bringing it in, having a look, flicking through, bringing it through and expressing and allowing yourself to see what I'm seeing from my perspective. Se o Bagian tá tá desse o bai que é o tuvura tá 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 se o que o tu cores is que a da da na da da na ma and then it becomes who you are. It's quite childlike actually. Um, it's not always, but my high self is very childlike. It's going back to that sense of innocence and wonder and expression and creativity it has no boundaries of restrictions of emotional states it's excitement it's intrigue into oh what's next oh what's next what's around that corner it is it's about like, oh excitement so in creating your new world, your new world, get excited. Get excited about what you're creating and expressing. And with that, it brings a sense of excitement to those that fall upon that expression, that see it from their perspective. It will spark a little bit of inspiration with inside of themselves, just like you just like you. What is it that I can inspire within you, that little spark of my energy that I'm bringing forward? What is it that's inside of yourself that is yearning to come forward? But maybe it's an emotional response that's not quite there, scared, afraid of that expression of your authentic self. You've got these little layers little pickles in front of you that you need to just shove out the way that's stopping you from expressing your authentic self. These are all belief systems about yourself. These are all things that get in your way as you walk past your library. As you're walking along, somebody's walking in front of you and they splash you with um, splashing up in a puddle or or you're walking along and it starts to rain. I'm not going to all of this because it's raining outside. Or, you know, you don't go out past the library or somebody gives you a lift instead and, and you take the ride rather than going into the library or whatever excuse it may be, you'll find an excuse not to go in and connect. But it's always going to be there when you're ready. If there's family issues, if there's things that are getting in your way, it's okay. It's okay. That's your experience in that now moment. Okay. But when you're ready, go check out that library. And then when you're ready, even further in expansion, go and get your own library shelf in your own, in your own room. 
and then write your own book. Okay. Haphazardy type of video today, but that's me judging me. I'm sure it's okay when I watch it back. It always does that. I have a sort of a sense of judgment of myself when I bring something forward. Sometimes I think, ooh, that's not a very good one. Should I record it? But no, I'm going to keep it. I love my videos. I really do. It helps me. It helps me see me. So try it yourself. Even if you don't publish it on our YouTube channel, try it yourself. Have a little go, it's real good fun, it's really good fun. And even if you want to get a mirror in front of you and start talking to yourself, it shows who you are, it shows your, your essence shining back at you. And it's really very lovely to see. So, um, and that's not coming from ego, that's coming from higher levels of consciousness. Spiritual ego. Um, yeah. Yes, so that's me today. Nice little short video for you. Little um, reminder is that when you're ready, go into your library, start connecting, start getting your downloads of who you are, but make sure that you just shove all of those emotional states and belief systems out of the way so you can get to it, get to it. Okay, just a little announcement also um, on Stasi G. I've got my new courses up, which are really amazing. They're a quantum energy and sound healer courses, one that you can access with me um, mentoring you, three mentoring sessions included, one where you can just work on your own. There are prerequisite um, courses that you need to go through to get your ground information, but it's about really getting to know how to heal yourself so that you can go and heal others, whether it's starting with friends and family and then moving into a practice. So that's the whole course that I've been working for, for all of this year, um, bringing it all together into fruition. So it's up and it's ready. I will put the link below. There is limited spaces for the mentoring section. Um, so if you do actually purchase that, there's only 10 per year that I'm going to be mentoring throughout that time. So if you do want that space, then you'll need to sign up pretty quick because they go really um, quickly. I've um, got a few people actually interested already. So um, that went out yesterday and I just um, openly brought that forward for today for you. So I'm terribly excited. Also check out all the other events that we've got on there. There is an event that's coming up with me and Robert, um, Deep Call Wounds, um, which is about um, contracts. And that's coming up, so check out the um, um, event section on Star CG also. And I'm also going to be be doing a Patreon. Um, my partner, um, S.A. Smith, she's been um, talking about Patreon for a while. She's a girl in the universe, so um, she has a Patreon. And um, I did do it, I did one year, about a year ago, but that, that didn't really resonate. But I'm ready now to bring a patreon on so if um if you're interested in that check those details out as i'll bring them forward for you for sometime from next week so i'm getting all of the information together and then put compiling some memberships for you if you want to join me on some live streams and question and answers and um whiteboard white whiteboard events i'm sure that i'll bring them to you if you want to become one of my members which is exciting again so lots going on with me, lots of new creativity, lots of endings of old story and belief systems within myself. And now I'm creating new things. Now, if I'm doing this, you can do it too. Just go in, do your inner work, start cultivating your light, start understanding yourself. Lots of my videos will actually help you, guide you through that process, all free content for you, okay? There's lots of free content on StarCG also, some real baseline information um, on, on there and also some energy exchange um, courses also. So go check that out. It's all available to you. Um, exciting times, exciting times. This month of June is going to be a little bit bumpy for some, but very smooth for others. If you're in your power, you're just going to find it really smooth running. You'll be coasting the waves. If your undercurrent is actually creating a lot of turmoil in you, 
then it would be a case of yeah you're going to be going through some of that issues but it's all good you'll get through it there is this other side that you get to so just be patient with yourself that's a key word as well all right okay take care everyone and i'll see you all soon okay take care bye